Hi YouTubers, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics and today we're going to talk about easy money spells that attract money instantly back to you. Yes, I want to talk to you about my daily money rituals that I use that constantly bring money back into my life. If you're not doing these rituals, if you're unfamiliar with these things, I'm telling you, you're missing out. Many people use these little simple things, they don't tell you, and then you wonder why they have money coming back into their lives. So watch this video all the way to the end. And if you're new to my world of metaphysics, this is the Law of Attraction Metaphysical Life Coaching Channel that always bring you information in an easy to understand manner to help change your life. So if you're new, don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap that bell. Now let's get started. I'm back YouTubers. Now what is it that I have to tell you about these easy money spells or money rituals that I use on a daily basis to instantly bring money back into my life? Now these are things that are simple that you should be using on a daily basis. Things that you should automatically get used to doing and do it all the time. I'm going to tell you what a lot of people do that you may not notice because you're not paying attention. Once you start doing these things and these things become a habit to you, money will automatically start coming into your life. You then start saying, wow, every time I look now in my wallet, I have money. These are little simple things that you're leaving out in your life that can actually make a difference. But I do want to tell you, your source is the one and only God that dwells inside of you. Your source is the only one that creates everything that there is, that manifests good or bad, and that is the God within you. So any type of ritual you may use is things that help your vibration elevate so that you can actually attract whatever it is in your life that you desire. Now, let's get to the first thing that I want to talk about, and that is your wallet. People, why is it everyone throws their money in their bag? Remember, money is energy, just like your energy, just like you attract things in your life. Money is energy. Your house is energy. Your car is energy. So you have to be very careful what you say to it. When you see your money, do your money look like this in your wallet or is it all crumbled up, thrown all over your back? I make it a habit of keeping my money neatly in my bag. Now, don't get me wrong. I do, I do throw my money in the bag at some times, but I try to go back in and make sure my money is neat. Now, one thing I would like you to do is try to obtain one large bill or a few large bills. And I want you to put that in your wallet and never touch it, okay, if possible. And if you do, replace it. The reason I'm telling you this is that if you ever go into your wallet and it is empty, what signal are you sending to your subconscious mind, but I don't have money? You want to keep money in your wallet and you want it to be a large bill. Why? It's because you're saying to your subconscious mind, I have money. I can go out and I can buy something. I can buy this. I can buy that. You don't have to spend it. But I want that money to stay in your pocket. It doesn't matter if it's a $20 bill, $50 bill, $100 bill, or a couple of hundred dollar bills. The whole idea is having money in your pocket. Now, I tell people, when you have money in your pocket, keep the largest bill facing you. Always keep the largest bill in front of you, okay? So that you're not looking at ones. How do you feel when you look in your wallet and you see a one? compared to a $50 or $100 bill. Now, again, largest bill in your wallet, try not to spend it, and always put the largest bill on the top and the lowest at the bottom, okay? Now, the next thing it is, people might say, well, Yvette, I don't have that type of money to be putting in my pocket or my wallet. I tell people, hey, look, this is kind of small, but they have out there fake money, okay? Now, I'm not saying that you go out there and you start trying to pass fake bills around, but you can actually place fake money around your house, on your table, in your drawers. So when you open up your drawers, there's a, there's a, um, a drawer full of money. You can actually place them 
in your wallet. So it looks like you have hundreds, fifties in your wallet, okay? These are things that you can actually do to fool your subconscious mind into thinking that you have money, that you have abundance. You come in your house, there's money on the dresser. That you're, what are you doing? You're looking at it. These are little simple things that you can do if you don't have money. Now, another thing you can do, you can place nutmeg or pecans in your wallet. Now, I'm not saying a lot. I'm saying one nutmeg or a pecan in your wallet and just leave it there, okay? And it basically attracts money into your life, okay? Now, one thing I can say, if you ever came to my house, in front of my house at my front door, I have a set of hands. And in the hands, I have pecans, okay? People look and they say, mm, you got pecans. Oh, don't touch my pecans because I don't want you eating my money away. So pecans also attract money into your life. These are little things that you can use to change your vibration about money. So I have a hand in front of my door at, on, a, on a shelf and it is a hand full of pecans. No matter what I have the pecans sitting in, I have pecans in front of my door, okay, when you come in. Now, let's talk about other things that you can do to attract money into your life. Now, another thing you can do to attract money into your life is to treat your money with respect. This goes right back to me stating how you handling your money. Another thing is that you can get in the vibration of having money by feeling your money, by smelling your money, okay? I know that we got a lot of things going on today, so you don't have to touch the money with your face, but you can smell the money, feel the vibration of your money, and your money will be part of your vibration, and it will attract money to you. Some people say money is the root of all evil. That is not true. You can have a knife and cut a steak, or you can use that same knife and kill someone. It is the person and their intent with that object that can cause a problem. But other than that, money is an inanimate object and is basically used to barter. We used to use cattle, we used to use coins, we used to use gold. Right now we're using dollars and in the future we're gonna be using um, cryptocurrency and everything is gonna be over uh, online. So what's next, okay? Everything is not evil. It's basically what you intend to use it for. So again, getting back to smelling your money, being close to your money, treating your money with respect, knowing that the God inside of you always provides you with whatever that you need. Now, when it comes down to um, oils and crystals, you guys know I'm an oil and a crystal person. And listen, I'm telling you this from my heart. I always have money coming in some way, somehow. It always does and it always will. So I never really have a problem because I always know God is going to provide for me. Now, one thing that I carry, and I tell you guys all the time, is a citrine crystal, okay? I tell you guys, always put a citrine, C-I-T-R-I-N-E, in the wealth corner of your house. That is the far back left corner of your house. It could be on the first floor, the second floor, both floors, it does not matter. You can also put one of these crystals in your cash register. Now, other crystals that attract wealth into your life, I tell people bloodstone, okay? One of my favorite stones. I keep a bloodstone in my wallet, okay? That's a good place to keep your bloodstone. And another stone that's good for abundance is the jade. I also keep like an opalite near me, which is a beautiful stone. I keep an opalite, and always, you guys, I tell you this over and over again, tiger's eye. If you're talking about something for abundance, for success, or whatever, tiger's eye is going to give you the courage, the motivation, the inspiration to get out there and do what you need to do. Tiger eye is one of my most powerful crystals that I carry along with me. When it comes down to success, abundance, money, career, anything. Now, one of the crystals that I do like is a tiger iron, okay? This one is mixed with tiger eye, hematite, and red jasper, 
Okay. Now, if you know anything about red jasper, red jasper is a stone that brings in new opportunities, new jobs, something that's going to bring in uh, money through customers, through opportunities. So red jasper is also a powerful stone and I have it here. So here's red jasper. And when you combine red jasper with tiger eye and hematite, which also gets rid of and dispels any of the negativity that's surrounding you, you come up with a tiger iron, okay? You can find these crystals on my website at store.myworldofmetaphysics.com. So now another thing that I want to tell you about money, and this is important, you guys. This is something that you guys really need to understand. When you have money and you go into the store, never give people the money with the money facing away from you, okay? Never give money away facing towards that person, okay? When you give money, you give the money to someone with the money facing you. Why? Because you are actually saying money, you're going, but you're coming back. When you spend or when you actually purchase something, always pay and say to yourself, God, thank you for giving me the ability to give this, to buy this, to purchase this. I know this is coming back to me in tenfold. I know this money is going out, but it's going to circulate and it's going to come back to me multiplied. I want you guys to always say that no matter who you're giving money to or what you're purchasing. Just let the universe know, I have it to spend. And at the same time, I know, because I know it's mine by divine right, it's going to come, it's going to go out and circulate and come right back to me. Come back to me, not only as itself, but come back multiplied. This is the most powerful thing that you can do when you're out there paying your bills, when you're out there paying your mortgage or out there buying stuff that you need in the home. These are little simple things that you guys can actually do to attract money into your life. It is a part of subconscious reprogramming that is actually bringing things back to you. You are not going out there paying for something saying, oh my God, I just paid it. I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow. You're not doing that. You're saying, hey, look, I'm provided for, I'm sending this out and it's going to come back multiplied. Now, another thing that I tell people to do, every morning when I leave my house, I use oils. So I use um, some money oils, okay, that you can actually, again, find on my website. But um, Laylokins, um, Awins, this is one of my favorite. This is the money oil, okay? I use this daily. And then I have things like uh, open the road, to open the road, to open my path to new, new opportunities, I have prosperity oils. I also have money making, business oils, anything like that. I have so many oils, holy oil, all the type of oils that I use is on the site. I use these oils depending on my day, every single day. I rub it in my hands. I put it on my, my neck. I put it on my forehead, whatever it is. But I use these things. Sometimes I even pack my money. You know, and let my money know you're going out smelling good and you're going to bring back to me whatever it is. Again, use the pecan spell and put this by your front door. You can also say a prayer and bless whatever you're eating and whatever you're drinking with money. Bless it with abundance and then drink it. So like if you have a glass of water, you can actually say, thank you, thank you, thank you, God, for blessing me with this water. I know everything is coming to me. I am full of abundance. I thank you, God, for the money, for the house, for the car, whatever it is. While you're doing that, you can actually be sending the vibration through the glass to the water, and then you drink it. These are all little small money rituals that you actually can do to bring abundance in your life. Listen, I always bring the information to you guys that you can easily understand and put it into action. Change the way you behave with money. Change the way you think about money and watch things change for you. If you think you're broke, you will be broke. Don't say the law of attraction didn't work. Don't say the universe didn't give it to you. The universe gave you what you asked for. Remember everybody, everything you say, everything you think is not a joke.
So watch the jokes you say and just know the universe is always listening. So right now, you guys, I just gave you some of my money spells or money rituals that you can use to attract money instantly into your life. If you want to know more, keep watching this channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like it. And again, this is Yvette from My World of Metaphysics. You can follow me at myworldofmetaphysics.com. You can also go to store.myworldofmetaphysics.com to get some of these items. And again, this is Yvette and namaste.